Hearing none, we'll move to rules of courtesy, rule 38. Any changes or recommendations? Hearing none. Uh, Madam Chair. Yeah, thank you. Council Sondam, I just saw my own changes. Yes, Council Sondam, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. This is the um, rule where the, the name and address requirements came up, uh, 38.8. Um, yes, 38.8. Yeah, so I mean, I, I understand what um, was said in, in public comment, but I guess it's not clear to me whether we need to change anything. I mean, certainly people are free to refuse to provide their name and address, and, and I don't think we would refuse them to speak if they did so. Um, but I think it is helpful to, to ask them to provide it. And, and again, if they don't want to, they don't, strictly speaking, have to. Thank you, Council Zondra. Is there any other thoughts from the floor about Rule 8? I mean, Item 8, it's not a rule. It's... I, if you're hearing none, Council Zondervan, I, I would, I was going to make more comments about that, but I would be sufficient with leaving it the way it is. I concur. People, I don't think we can force folks, but I think it's helpful to know. And again, I use this as an opportunity oftentimes talking from a committee perspective, making sure that per person knows about the next meeting. And I may not have known that they had their interest had they not come. And then I reach out to them more likely by email, however they choose. I don't even think we use e addresses as much as we used to. We more often use emails by way of being able to show people, uh, get back to people. So if there's no further comment, we'll then leave this as the same and pass over it. Hearing none, we'll pass, leave that the same and pass over. We're gonna to move to 